Evening everyone, let's pray shall we? Father God and God of truth, you know us better than we know ourselves and you search our hearts and our minds and you see us as we really are and you confront us with our true selves. Teach us to face the truth because the truth will set us free. God of truth, we thank you today for all those with the rare gift of speaking the truth in love. Not spitefully or vindictively or harshly. Not from any ulterior motives, but because they genuinely care. So we thank you for those who've spoken truth into our lives and guided us with our various ministries and vocations. Teach us to face the truth because the truth will set us free. God of truth, we thank you for those who are willing to risk themselves to help and to care and to love and to nurture and to hold in hands. We think of those facing the truth of this crisis in a very, very real way. Help us all to face the truth. But help us to know that it's your truth that will set us free. God of all, give true humility and meekness of spirit to each and every one of us. So that we may be ready to listen and to maybe use this time to examine ourselves. Help us to ask searching questions about who we really are and how we are living our lives. And help us to make those changes as necessary. Teach us to face the truth. Because it's in your truth we will be set free. And God of our lives, you're always calling us to follow you into a different future. And the future is going to be different. May we use this time, perhaps as a time to rest. Perhaps as a time to refocus. Perhaps as a time to really get our lives in order. And may this be a learning time for each and every one of us. Lord, there will be new challenges and new ventures ahead, but there will also be new ways to care. And for that, we give you thanks. There will be new ways to touch the hearts of people, new ways to speak the gospel, new ways to show your love. Lord, when we are fearful of the unknown, we pray for your courage. When we worry that we're not up to the task, remind us that you would not call us if you did not believe in us. And Lord, we believe in you. We believe in those who are helping you. And Lord, we're coming to the end of another day and maybe we feel tired or restless or disappointed or fed up or overworked. 
or bored. So many different feelings and emotions. And we know there are those people grieving tonight and there are those people mourning tonight. And there are those people who are scared and lonely. Remind us that you can bring change and hope out of the most difficult of situations. And surely this is seen in the blessed assurance that you give us through the resurrection and ascension and presence of your son Jesus by the power of that Holy Spirit by your love for us and to us as our Father. So may your grace cover us like a blanket tonight as we sleep. May we rest in your presence and in your purpose now and forever. Amen. Amen. Night night, everybody.